Okay, guys, let's go ahead and check how many Ender Pearls we have. Oh my god, it works so good! Hey, you guys, and welcome back to another episode of Skyblock. It's me, your boy Swerve here, and I just want to say, holy cow, how Skyblock has been popping off. Literally, guys, I've been having so much fun here on the Skyblock region here on Hypixel.net, guys, but guys, Holy cow, do I have something planned for you today. I am going to go over how to build the most efficient minion farm you can possibly build on this server. But any minion that actually spawns and creates a uh, mob, we can actually use this farm to our advantage and actually create the most efficient design on the server that we know of. This farm is useful for getting certain kind of pieces in the game that you really need, like the pigment sword, that's what we are working on on the island right now actually, so stay tuned for that video coming up. But actually you can get all kinds of stuff, so like it works for getting uh, the spider boots, a bone, the bone uh, helmet, all, all kinds of stuff guys. Anything that you need mob drops from, it can actually work for this. But that's enough chit chat guys, let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial on how to build this. First I'm going to go over how it works and all that good jazz, so here we go. Alright you guys, we are here on the island, uh, the little island home looks kind of rough, not going to lie, this is where we had our beginning little uh, minions working at the very start, but we have a little chest room right here. Uh, if we go over here, we are building a cool little castle. Actually, let's go ahead and fly like this. Okay, and yeah guys, this is our little storage room under the little castle way. But guys, we are building, well, it's the starts of a castle, right? It is the starts of a castle, guys. But if we go over here, this is our main hub area, kind of. Uh, we have all the portals over here. We have a little wheat farm, and we have a little minion just grabbing some e-pearls for us. Uh, that, that guy is mad at me. But guys, if we come over here, this is it. This is what we got going on. It is an automated... Uh, kind of minion farm that has drops, uh, mob drops, but uh, it's pr pretty simple guys, so I will do a tutorial after I explain this, but here we go, uh, so you have all your minions pretty much lined up above the water, but the cool thing about this uh, farm and about the minion mechanics is that you can actually place a block Okay, uh, let me see if I have any blocks. One second, guys. All right, you guys, I got the uh, I got the blocks, but just to show you guys that it does work indeed, I'm going to pick up this. Uh, okay, so we're gonna line this up right here, and the cool thing about these minions and the and how they work and the mechanics behind them are is you can you have to place them on a block, right? You can't place them in floating air. So you place it on a block, and the cool thing about this, guys, is you can actually uh, just mine it under and it will still spawn around these blocks which is really really cool and actually really really helpful um and then if you didn't already know it takes 35 blocks to kill an actual pig i have 40 so we can use this for enderman and whatnot uh so it's pretty much all around a good design i like to do 50 blocks in the air just in case something uh slips up but that's that's the farm i will be using or just showing you guys how to build actually in this tutorial. This is actually really, really simple. So you just have all the minions you could possibly put down. I put them three apart because you, if you did not know, you can actually give them something, uh, an enhancement, uh, an upgrade slot where they can actually spawn three blocks away. So I put them three blocks away from each other because we do plan on using that. That's what a lot of people don't really uh, tend to remember is like, you can upgrade your minions to be super, super OP guys. The thing I should mention about, about this farm is it, it does AFK but it only AFKs if like you're online right uh, the pigs won't actually fall and die when you're not on online uh, but to compensate for that the the minions actually do do their work when you're still offline so they'll fill up like see uh, I logged off for a little bit today and this is what they have collected uh, but yeah guys Alright guys, that's enough explaining. Let's go ahead into building this amazing OP farm, guys. Alright you guys, now we're gonna go ahead and start the building tutorial. I'm going to make this a very compact, kind of resource-friendly uh, kind of deal. I did start to build it actually over there, but this is the island limit right here, so I kind of goofed there, but we're gonna build it a little compact, a little more compact. So, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna start to build it off right here. So I'm gonna go with an eight by eight little claim right here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're just gonna connect the sides like so guys. And then we're gonna go ahead and fill this in like this. Okay, so now that we've done this, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, awesome, awesome, okay. 
Now what we're gonna want to do is I'm just gonna use uh, some logs right here to make it look nice, uh, but we're gonna cover up the sides now. But we're gonna leave one side open so the water can flow out like we need it to. Okay, so this is what we got basically so far. Is we got a little eight by eight little square and we got three walls around it. That's not too hard, right? Okay. Well then, let's go ahead and uh, because this is gonna be an Enderman farm or Enderman capable, we are going to need to get uh, slabs. So guys, if you don't already know, mobs can't spawn on slabs. So we're gonna go ahead, open up our crafting table. We're gonna go ahead and make a couple slabs like so. Boom, 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 oak wooden slabs. And we're gonna go ahead and slap these bad boys right on top, just like so. This will prevent any mobs from actually spawning on your, uh, on your little spiel here, on your little farm. Uh, but guys, we are gonna need to go get water, so let's go ahead and run to the hub real quick. If you don't know where to buy water, I'm about to show you guys. We're gonna go over here, and we're gonna go all the way back here to the build merchant, guys. The build merchant is on the left. He's chilling right here. What's up, builder? All right, we're gonna go ahead and buy a bunch of water buckets. Uh, we only need eight, but I think I bought a little too much. So let's go back to the private island. Uh, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead. Drink a couple mushroom soups. This this farm will be a lot easier with mushroom soups, guys. But uh, we're just gonna go ahead, place our little handy dandy water uh, two apart because uh, you can do that. Uh, a little bit of lag there, but that's okay. And boom, just like that, we have the basic uh, design kind of thing for the actual uh, Enderman farm. Uh, now we gotta create the drop system. So. What I like to do is create it kind of uh, the similar way to here, but uh, all we're gonna do is make this, uh, whoopsies, uh, too wide. So, what we're gonna do is bring this out by one, bring this out by one, and then come down 40 blocks, guys. So, uh, we have one, oh gosh. Okay, that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Uh, I lost count, guys. I lost count, guys. We're just gonna, I had 51 in my inventory, so we're gonna probably go down, ooh to uh, 51, so we're at 42, 43, 44, 45. Okay, that should be good. It should kill them. Uh, let's go ahead and grab more wood and connect this down here. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, and just like that, guys, we have the start of the framework. Let's go ahead and mine these, clean it up a little bit, because we can't have it can't have it being looking dirty. Uh, the cool thing about this, guys, is um, we're gonna have it only two wide. So the cool thing is uh, we're gonna come out like this, boom, 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 and then boom, 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 and then to make it look nice, we're gonna come out right here and do this. And this is pretty much all you really need. Uh, Endermen can spawn, but they can't spawn back on slabs. So uh, a really cool thing about this is you can just slab this up right there. And now you're chilling. Uh, so now uh, we are going to need a couple of hoppers. So this farm is kind of costly if you don't really have uh, hoppers, but uh, hoppers are super easy to get. All you gotta do is go to the deep caverns mine and mine some iron. There's a bunch of iron there. If you haven't seen my last guy block video, I kind of do a tutorial on the whole deep caverns mine. You should probably go check that out uh, if you haven't already. Link will be down in the description. But guys, we're gonna go ahead and finish off this little farm right here. I do need to kind of cover this off, so I'm going to use uh, some just wooden plates to uh, go ahead and cover this up just like so because it's what I have uh, relatively available to me. All right, you guys, now uh, now that you have your little base covered, uh, we are going to make, need to make a kind of barrier around the hoppers, kind of like how we have there. This is just so uh, mob drops don't really fly out. It's just to maximize efficiency, guys. Nothing nothing too crazy going on here, but I just like to do it. Maybe four, four tall is a pretty solid amount. We're not going to find any uh, <laughs> ender pearls jumping out four, four high, but... Uh, now what we need is the hoppers, guys. So the cool thing about this is the server does have hoppers, and you can create them. So they're not very, not very challenging to get, right? So uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're actually going to create something we can tr put the hoppers on. So let's go ahead and grab this, and basically all we have to do is 
just connect the hoppers to the actual wooden things that we made right here. Uh, I'm out of hoppers though, so let me go create some more. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I got some hoppers. All right, you guys, this farm should only take around 16 hoppers, and it just depends how big you want to make the chest system. But this is really compact, really, uh, really resource-friendly design. So let's go ahead, and now we need to grab some chests, guys. We need to get some chest and some uh, trap chests to go ahead and put on these bad boys. But other than that, guys, your farm is pretty much done. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, build a little bit here so the the bad things don't <laughs> spew out on us to ender pearls or whatever whatever uh mob drops your farming form here right uh guys this will work for anything besides like the mining and the farming pets like other than that you're chilling you can uh basically use this to your extent of whatever you want all right you guys i went ahead and got the chest out uh we're gonna go ahead and put these down just like so and if you did not know already uh, you cannot place one chest next to another, uh, it just doesn't work like that, so you have to get trap chest and, uh, regular chest. But guys, I had already set up the farm, just to test if it works, and guys, it is working like a charm. So just to show you that it works, I went ahead and placed this minion. Uh, if you did not know, endermen take water damage, so it already kills them a little bit before they go ahead and make it down there. And just like that, guys, perfectly, perfectly, uh down into the hoppers 100% uh, of the time. We just put the chest down, we already have what? Five ender pearls? And that's just with one uh, one spawner, so, or one minion. This farm design is really cool. It kind of like cheats the system almost because uh, I don't think they intended for their minions being able to fly, but uh, you know what? They did and uh, I made a farm out of it, so. If you did enjoy this video guys, make sure to slap a like, subscribe if you haven't already, join the Swerve Nation, we're the most dopest, littest, savagest, most uh, lit family here on YouTube. But yeah guys, I hope you did enjoy, uh, more Skyblock coming in the future, I love you guys, I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.